Good morning and welcome everybody to another episode of, well, my occasional series, Chip Chat. And today we're going to be talking about the best and worst of the year because we're getting towards the end of the year. And that year is 2018 for those of you who are listening in a couple of years. And with me today, if anyone's listening in a couple of years... If the world hasn't been blown to smithereens in that well, time. <laughs> which is quite possible. Hmm. I've got Count, who you just heard there. I've got Hi. Over the Edge. Hello. <laughs> and I've got Sully. Hello, hello. And basically what we're going to be covering is several topics here. And the first one that I want to look into today briefly is Cock Up of the Year. So who wants <laughs> to suggest the, on the biggest Cock Up of the Year? <clears throat> I'll go uh, first. Go on, him. Uh, was Lawbreakers this year? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's, just a, good <laughs> that's a strong start. Oh. Maybe not cock ups, but accidental misfires. Let's go with that. Yeah, that yeah. was just that was a mess. The premature Any other? ejaculation of 2018. <laughs> <laughs> I would argue it didn't ejaculate soon enough. It needed to come before Overwatch. <laughs> So, so what about you, Count? Have you got any uh, anyone? I don't know. EA continuing to exist. Uh, that's well. That, uh, is that I'd a cocker? Wa- I warned you, Joe. I warned yeah, you. I know Here he's already go. on it. We haven't even got to the worst company yet. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, Nintendo's weird online system. No, oh, yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah cool. an awful mess. Still is. Yep. Yep. Uh, Red Dead Online being a heap of shit, apparently. Uh, yeah, I've not tried that yet, but I've heard. I've heard, yes. Uh, what is it? A tin of beans costs more than a gold bar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the economy's fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the very go definition f- of a fucked economy, isn't it? Yeah, go figure that one out. Uh, what else? Can I toss in the Atari box as well? Oh, God. Oh, yes, that mess. thing that didn't happen. <laughs> Seemingly, yeah. <laughs> Could still be happening. We don't know. We have not heard. Probably from it. not, though. Uh, mm. Yeah, like they shooting that fish. Money. That film where they present a brick as a console or whatever or computer. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's, it's smoke and mirrors, and it's gonna disappear without a trace. I would imagine. Shame if it is, does it appear. It'll be shit. Sexy piece of uh, kit, though. It looks really sexy. It looks good. It does. So. It looks alright. I think right. it does. Yeah. But um, it was a mock-up, wasn't it? The the journalist who went to look at that. It was a mock-up. Yeah, there was nothing there. That was an interesting yeah. story, that one. I quite yeah. enjoyed pulling that apart, yeah. Yeah, that was cool. How about uh, you, Grant? You got any any anyone on this one? The recent one that comes to mind is Fallout 76. Ooh, oh yeah. Oof, yeah. Oh. Absolute clusterfuck of, of a game that Bethesda <clears throat> must have name was completely broken, and yet it was a case of let's put it out anyway, because money. And then they released a patch which did nothing. A friend of mine said, huh. told me an interesting story about how he was just, um, I think the head of Zenimax is this Russian guy, and when he was working on Xbox magazine, I, I hope he doesn't mind me telling this, I'm sure you can edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, You'll have to find out. It was when Morrowind was being released on the original Xbox, and Pete Hines came in to demo it to Xbox magazine, and it was just a really bad port from the PC. And they just took it apart in a preview, saying it was all like rubbishy skeleton models that didn't look right. And then um, this guy phoned up my friend and said, You're a fucking bastard, this is a complete assassination. <laughs> 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 I took my own money on this. And he said, Well, you know, it was. Um, that, that's nice, doesn't make it less shit. Yeah, it doesn't make it less shit. And you can talk to my boss if you want, but bye. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you nice. wasted your money, mate. Now, so they, off. They got a track record of this sort of thing, you know, but oh, people have given right. them a free pass for years. I think that's the thing, isn't it? Didn't yeah. didn't they just to quickly butt in? Didn't they do um, Elder Scrolls Online though? Was that Zenimax? Uh, yeah, it's a Bethesda property. Yeah, because mm. that's a, that's a good game. That's a that's been still going strong. Yeah, it's just so they do do some good stuff. Well, this is the thing, isn't it, with Bethesda? Things generally, bro- you know, are broken when they release, and then later on they sort them out. I'm, I'm not sure they're going to be able to do that with Fallout 76, though. I think it's, it looks too broken the, to me. I mean, the, the thing is, with like Fallout 76, though, is that it's like the same shit as like Fallout 4. Like they, they haven't changed the engine. Like you think they'd have it all down pat by now? Like, it's why worse, they gonna use, isn't it? 
Yeah, why are they getting so many issues? Yeah, um, I played Fallout. I, I liked Fallout 4. I mean, despite the issues, I put a lot of hours into it. But I looked at Fallout and I thought, this is a, this doesn't even look any better. It looks worse and it's even more glitchy. Yeah. Oh God, I was watching a video by Clay and the the, the pop in that that was going on. You know? Yeah, even on high end PCs, it just chugs apparently. Oh. oh, I didn't know I did one for that. So anyway, that's um, we're let's let's move on from that quickly because uh, I want to get a, your kind of overview of which one's the worst for this. I, I just want to cut oh, in a oh, couple more. Oh, one more. Go IGN on, plagiarism. <laughs> Philip Mewson. Uh, oh God, yeah. that was awful. Yeah, I've not I, been searching through my newscast topics for the I'm last going year. To <laughs> right now, the man who refused to apologise when he, even when he was exposed. the, the non-apology. <laughs> yeah, the non-apology. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about, that I got caught. Oh, EA refusing to remove loot boxes despite the Belgian courts telling them to. Yeah, definitely. That was when I covered, and, and, and that one, oh, God. Woo! <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Anyway. Um, couple couple of others I can add to that, though. Uh, Blizzard, Diablo Immortal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and PS Classic. I think the PS Classic was a bit of a bit of a mess. Yeah. Isn't it so? Yes. And what about Sony's handling of crossplay? That's a good one. Yeah, it took them long. Yeah, that to was get a mess. Right, they they yeah. came good in the end though, and, and PS Classic wasn't there a lot of games and some, somebody found something in the source code where they were they were going to go with these games which weren't part of it or something like Raid. And, and yeah, they did. Yeah, there's there's loads of extra of games actually on the system. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, they're just not you can't get to them. Yeah, ridiculous. Right. <laughs> so, so out of all those, which one do you think is the most? <laughs> Who do you think really messed up this year? I think Bethesda did a really good job of eroding any good yeah. reputation that they had. What they're, the, what's their Metacritic? Isn't it like fifty-two or something? It's like the worst triple uh, rated game in years or something. Oh, I know the user reviews are terrible. Two point something last time I looked. Yeah. Metacritic, Fallout 76, <coughs> stands at, oh, 52%. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Even GameSpot User... gave it 4 out of 10, so. Yeah, user <laughs> review, 2.5 out of 10. Yeah. Yeesh. That's being generous, probably. Oh, oh man. That's bad. Oh, that is bad. For some reason, the Xbox One reviews have a slightly lower score of 49%. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. And the PC looks like has the highest user reviews with 27%. <laughs> Generous. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I don't know. I mean, it looks like we're, we're coming down that Bethesda probably screwed the pooch worse than anyone else this year. I think Blizzard really kind of were running them close for me, but the, the problem is that... The, Activision Blizzard haven't exactly got the best reputation anyway, so I don't think they had quite as far to fall. And I know Bethesda released broken games, but they got a rep for that. So people were kind of expecting it. For them to disappoint after that. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm. I think with, with that, that is it's it's like the bar's low, but you've missed it, you know? Yeah. With Blizzard it might be a case of the direction they're going in. If they're going in this mobile direction, I think that will cost them in the years to come in terms of their fan base. I, I think I think Blizzard's basically it been will, subsumed I th now. I think the rumor is though they were supposedly going to have Diablo Four revealed alongside that mobile game. Yeah. Um, and I for whatever reason that, that got yeah. pulled because I wasn't ready. I don't know if this is just all bullshit. But if that had happened, I think we wouldn't we would, wouldn't even be it'd be a non-issue right now because well, you know they just like, had to do a Metroid, didn't they? Yeah. Just show a graphic. <laughs> yeah, anything to say. Hey, we we hit Diablo Four. We're working on it right now. In the meantime, here's this, or you know, yeah. here's Instead a reveal they for went, both. Look, a yeah. mobile game. <laughs> it's amazing. Been, yeah, yeah, yeah in front of a PC audience. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. that that was poor. That was that was really poor. Yeah. And I think the reaction as well from games journalism was poor as well. Oh, it's just gamers. You Entitled know. gamers not wanting the thing that's being pushed on them. How dare they? Yeah, yeah it's like somebody uh, said in what? one of my comments sections, change gamer to customer, and then would you be saying the same thing? <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. You know, and I thought they hit the nail on the head with that. If you, tr if you treat people as the customer, and the customer 
is somebody that you try and keep happy, not ER. You, you, you ordered this bloody, I think I said it in one of my videos, you ordered this steak, is a shit burger, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, what, what, what do you mean you're not happy about it being a shit burger? <coughs> this is what we've made you. Take it or leave it. Oh, fuck bloody off. Bloody, bloody entitled custard. Yeah, come on. Yeah, exactly. Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, can I round out a couple of cock-ups that span two years? Certainly. Um, EA. So, Continuing uh, to exist. EA, battle, just EA. Well, no, Nothing else, just EA. The way they handled promotion with the beta and what happened with Battlefront and now this year, Battlefield. Oh, and Anthem. promotion, average game. Anthem's bullshit that they just keep trying to Oh, didn't they? Push. Oh, have, have you heard they threatened to, um, if anyone breaks the NDA on Anthem, they're going to delete all your EA games from... Or something off of you. I, I heard something about you that, but I was watching a, a story that. about that. I don't though. think they can legally do that. No, <laughs> I, don't, I, I think that was a cock up. I think if, it, it, property, I was watching yeah. somebody on that. I think that was a bit of a missed story, to be honest. I, I'm not sure okay. I, I, I believe I'm that. I was going to say, be, that's, to be even by their standards, that seems a bit much. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they're already, they're not, they break the law already with loot boxes. They don't put it past them. Yeah. Well, true. Mm. Yeah. Um, so anyway, let, let's let's move on. Let's, um, I'm going to call it. I'm going to say. I think ultimately the one that messed up the worst this year, given their reputation beforehand, was probably Bethesda. So you can you can if you guys or anyone else can disagree with me in the comments. But let's move yes. on and have politely. a look at politely, politely, politely. Yeah, you know, keep it keep it polite. Yeah. Um, I'll and then, take you on if you want to be mean. <laughs> I'm ready. Yes, you have you have form in that regard. Sully's body is ready. <laughs> I'm always itching. Let's move on though. Uh talking about people not being polite, let's uh let's get on to the scuzz bag of the year. Who is the oh. worst company of the year? Oh, oh yep. Yeah. <sighs> I know where oh. counts going on this one. It's a tough one this year, I'm just gonna <laughs> be honest. There's, a, there's quite a lot. Definitely Phil Spencer. Right, well I'm gonna field one to start with. <laughs> and uh, I've got some, you know, good things to say about them as well this year, but um, one thing I thought was pretty scuzzy was the way Nintendo went after ROM sites. I thought that was pointless. Yeah. Mm. And it was yeah. just kind of you Out know, of nowhere just going, Hey, fuck you. Yeah. And it, it serves no purpose whatsoever you know because a lot of these games you haven't been able to get officially for for years so you know it's yeah it's a bit out of order yeah but anyway that's uh, my first one i'd say take two maybe they're doing awful things constantly oh you know they, they, t they tried to take down the well they've, they've done it again with another gta online well, they've done. They've taken down a GTA Online modder, which is fine. But they tried to take down that. What was it? Um, uh, Open Four, the GTA Four mod. Mm. They tried to sue that modder and like take him, make him take it down. Do you remember the days when people used to make mods and the companies used to embrace it? Yeah, yeah. Remember you know, back things. in the day, or even hire those people on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot, of, um, I, a lot of people started in games development through modding, especially with few people like id Software, you know, the early days of Doom it, mods and things. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, a lot of things came out of, of mods, you know, a lot of the things we ended up playing. We, I was talking to Sully earlier on and I mentioned Counter-Strike, you know, that was a mod, wasn't it, originally? Mm. 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 Well, the, the MOBA scene sprang up from mods as well, so that's a whole genre. Yeah, yeah so exactly. I mean, in, in the end they're shooting themselves in the foot doing stuff like that, it's just bollocks. They are. Uh, also, we could have the obvious Activision Blizzard for just being generally shit all round. <laughs> well, they introduced, didn't they? Didn't they introduce? This is a, a thing that winds me up. Didn't they introduce loot boxes into um, the the latest um, Call of Duty after the fact? Again. Yes. Yes, they did. Oh yeah, they joined. Which is, uh, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's it. it yeah. That's just a scummy thing to do. It's like, oh, we've got your money now. Yeah, we want more, but we've already you've already paid for it. You didn't know these was these were going to be in there, did you? Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, if it if it helps you at all, their stock dropped twenty eight percent in November. Oh yes. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Hemorrhaging money. If I've that, been. <laughs> I've been following that EA. Helps you in any way, shape, or form. I'm just thinking. Mm -hmm. 
uh, sorry, with loot boxes. I just heard that Capcom are putting in putting them in Resident Evil Two, which is a single. Yes. Oh, oh yep. fuck you. Fuck them basically for nice. that. Because that was a big one as well. Oh, that's not acceptable. Count, actually read up how they're incorporating that because it's pretty. Oh it's pretty boy, I'm gonna love this. Resident Evil Two remake. <laughs> loot does it boxes. right now. <laughs> um, Joe, I'm while we wait. I don't, I don't actually think I have anyone off the top of my head that I think is just like blowing me away that you guys haven't already covered. But I can give you somebody that I think has been disappointing in terms of how well, probably the lack of proactiveness that's come out of that camp, and that would be Sony for me. In, in terms of the way they've just not done much that's been pro gamer or just like, for example, cross play, um, just seems to be resting on god of war and spider-man and just cruising into the next generation seemingly i don't know it yeah they're just so, resting in so like first party they've got the, the ego has got to yeah so it just so, feels well i'm sorry yeah just to count that what else is that a criticism like they had the most exclusives out compared to microsoft i think it's fantastic uh, but for me sony it's always been a case of they've got the the first party rps down pat and that seems to just be what they're sticking with um, whereas, and I'll, I'll draw you like a comparison on the other side of the fence with Xbox. Yes, they haven't got the exclusives. I mean, they have just acquired seven a studios, I studios, think, studios, and yeah. still uh, rumors are they're acquiring more, um, bringing a lot of new services to the table as well in the form of Game Pass and, uh, and uh, innovating within those services about how they deliver games. Um, you know, and you have all, uh, I mean, now we're going to speculation territory with like their cloud box coming, but just with how they're reiterating with stuff they already have. Um, backwards compatibility um, is a big one as well, and and not not gouging us price wise for uh, backwards compatibility. Like if you have the original Xbox disc, pop it in, and you can play it even better now. Um, you know, with HD textures and stuff. Like I feel like they're doing a lot of stuff, but then you look at the other side, and I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm. It's probably more just a little bit disappointing, considering I own a PlayStation, that I wish they did have backwards compatibility and they would embrace crossplay more. Oh. Um, ooh. Ooh. Grant's been pushed over to the uh, a different chat. Mm, I know, That's I noticed I'm bringing him back. Ooh. He's Hi. back. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I clicked on something I shouldn't have done. That was my fault. Well done. <laughs> um, I think be overall, with the, when it comes to Game Pass, I, as, as a PlayStation, I'm kind of jealous because PS Plus is okay and everything, but Game Pass is better. Yeah, it's interesting yeah. though. As, as an actual thing, because like... Isn't it just a library of games you have access to, not just... It's just Netflix. You get man. these games on the on on the month, and if you miss that month, then fuck you. That's PS Plus, yeah. Yeah, exactly, that's what I mean. And whereas Game Pass is just like... If you're buying an Xbox now, Game Pass is a no-brainer. Absolute yeah. no-brainer. You can't say the same for, for the PlayStation. What, what's, it, what's the service? I forget. Um, yeah, you say that, though, but... PlayStation now has a massive chunk of the market. You'd be surprised how many people signed up to that because they released yeah, the and I can, figures recently, and it's got like fifty-two yeah. percent market share, and that's surprised. Well, I, can, I can believe it. I can <laughs> yeah, believe it. Yeah, because I remember when it came out, everyone was like, "Oh, this is shit. It doesn't work very well." Yeah, exactly. But I yeah. think what's helped them is they've they've brought over the kind of Game Pass thing where you can, with a lot of games now, not all of them obviously, but with a lot of games now, you can actually download them to the hard drive, so they will actually mm -hmm. play properly. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's, that's the only way you can do Game Pass. I think I don't think they are streaming them yet. No, they? no. Game Pass no. is is absolutely you download now. it. Yeah. But PlayStation, oh, PlayStation now yeah, have yeah, yeah. moved towards oh, you that can model download a little bit. More. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. So yeah. Because that was the I, I agree issue with you. With, um, PlayStation now. Say again, Sully. I was going to say that was the biggest issue with that service was it wasn't very viable for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you need non-Australian internet connection. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I think I, I think it's just like in the grand scheme of things, like PlayStation, while they have one or two good games a year, which are fantastic, don't get me wrong, it's, everything else is just a little bit boring. Yeah. You yeah, know, I think yeah. they've rested on their laurels a little bit. And I think that, well, that's fine this generation because they're way ahead and they're going to win this generation mm. without even breaking sweat. Next um, generation, they're going to need to step it up. Yeah, exactly. They need to know that they need to come out swinging. Yeah, they can't. Yeah. it can't be like the PlayStation 3 all over again, which seemingly looks like could, potentially could be. Get a second job to pay for it. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think... I, I wouldn't say that that would qualify them as being like, you know open to massive amounts of criticism like some of the other stuff though i wouldn't say that that compares to 
It's more disappointment rather than like anger. That's yeah. That's exactly how I wanted to pitch it originally, though. Like, just a, a, not quite as proactive as other players that are like Xbox and um, even Nintendo to agree with degree with their hardware. The online service is terrible, but um, just not exciting. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd go with that. Okay. Yeah, but if we're gonna let's let's just tr- wrap that one up a bit because we're hit, we've hit the twenty minute mark or whatever now. Um, if we're gonna say one that really stands out as the the, the, the scuzz bag of the year. <laughs> Excuse the title, guys. Um, who would we say? I mean, I know who I'm going to say because I will always say this. <laughs> EA. <laughs> EA. It's going to be EA yeah. for me, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you look at FIFA. They, oh, we're learning, and every year FIFA comes out and is more and more emphasis on... on yes, we're learning more how to manipulate money out of Exactly, your and I think they're the, the absolute <laughs> pinnacle of taking the piss. And I, if you look yeah. at FIFA, which used to be one of my favourite games, I simply will not well, buy it anymore. Same. I've refused to buy it this in fact, in fact I bought Pez. I know they can army yeah. Much better, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Konami aren't exactly. I'm replacing EA with Konami. <laughs> they make EA, you know, EA make Konami look like saints. So you know, yeah, <laughs> exactly. At least Konami's just worrying about their pachinko machines in Japan and leaving the rest of the world alone. <laughs> One remaining franchise, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna Although, call EA, but I don't know what. Have you guys got a? Would you counter that with anyone? No, I really got nothing. I've honestly got nothing. That you guys haven't no. already covered. I think I think EA will probably that you you'd have to go some to be EA. I, I think Activision Blizzard give you know come a close second. I would say. Yeah. Um, I think, but yeah, I think we all know that I'm nitpicking for the very fact that I went with Sony. So I've honestly, yeah, I'll hand it over yeah. to you guys to pull EA apart. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, let's move on to the next worst thing. This is the last of our moaning bits, hopefully, um, and let's. See, worst game of the year. Oh, we already know he's got this in the bag, don't we? It's <laughs> <laughs> law breakers. Yes, breakers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be a good I'm, game, isn't it? To the, to the people that played it. I was gonna say the game itself was supposed to be okay. Yeah. It's just no Look, fucking I, played I, it. I, I, I tell you what, I tell you what, like I could totally see that game having some kind of secret or even publicized like land comeback or something. It'd be an urban legend, like, it's not a, it? Yeah, it's not a bad game, yeah. <laughs> I've watched it's footage of like, it and it looks fine. Yeah. My my pick is Fortnite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, Hot damn. I've never played a single game of Fortnite, I don't know, so I'm just <laughs> Yeah. Well if we're doing that, I... I'm gonna go Spider Man. Spider-Man? <laughs> Whoa. Worst game of the Spider-Man? Are you kidding Whoa. me? No, I'm taking the piss. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know what yours is going to be, Joe. It's definitely God of War. Anything you have so many. Worst. Worst. Anything by Sony, yeah. No, worst game Oscar. of the year. Uh, if, for me, I, I, I mean, I, I haven't even played it, but I think it's got to be Fallout 76, isn't it? It's got to yeah. be. Even just by its reputation, it's Quite I've watched cool. videos, so many videos about it, and it, you know, I was I was tempted to buy it. I was interested in it and whatnot, and, and I've looked at the Digital Foundry, and I've watched other people playing it. I saw Clay's video where I was looking at the pop up, and I was thinking, Jesus Christ, this is like playing Screamer from back in the bloody two thousands or whatever. I don't know if you guys remember Screamer. It was a racing game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. And you know, back then you used to get a lot of pop up. Yeah. And this was like it was like playing that. It was like every, you're watching it, and there's like stuff popping into view and it was bloody obvious what was he playing How it can on you release a game in 2018 that looks and plays like that yeah it looks um, i mean it's I'm just, gonna... it looks like a ps2 game somebody said and that's and you think that's an exaggeration but it's not it the, some no. of the textures are just basically have not been done they haven't bothered even doing some building textures and other things it's it's terrible definitely a half ass job yeah yeah I can't think of anything else that comes to mind, though. Anything else, like... Yeah, that's the problem. We the haven't... Bad games this year, I've not played many yeah, of them. Yeah, I don't they, they well, we tend to avoid them, we? together. Also, but... this year feels like it's gone on for about ten years. Yeah, there's not been many <laughs> bad, broken games this year. Remember, like, a, even last year or the year before, where we had heaps of broken games releasing? There hasn't been heaps this year. No. Yeah, which is which is good, really, when you think about it. It's, it's a mm. move forward, in a way. <laughs> 
I mean, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Hunt Down the Freeman came out this year. Oh. Hunt Down the Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Who remembers that? <laughs> Great. Like when you read about it, I've, I've, yeah, that's about it. I heard it's I watched rubbish. Jim Sterling play it, and I watched the zero punctuation on it, and oh boy, it's fun. He picks some gems, Jim Sterling does. Mind you, if you're going down that route, there's probably a whole load of things on Steam that could probably trump anything oh, we yeah. could come up with. I think uh, we have to see Agony with is apparently is was supposed to be incredibly disappointing. <laughs> agony? Was it agony to play it? Yes. <laughs> no. The pun that I think basically everyone's made, yeah. yeah. Uh yes. Like it's been a year it's a, it's been a year with bad uh, publishers, it's not been a bad year for games as a whole. Yeah, maybe. yeah. <laughs> God, I'm looking at few, 76 right though. now. Oh, we happy few. Mm. Yeah, that came yeah. out this that year. Had a lot of bugs. Yeah, that had a lot of bugs. That, yeah, that was a real shame because when I first, I think you and I spoke about this before, Count. When I first saw that game, I was I was quite excited for it. I, I thought it looked the art style looked fantastic. I, I had that kind of prisoner vibe going on. Yeah, it had a really great. Thing going on, it just didn't do the thing very yeah. well, you know. Like th it, the moment they shifted to randomly generated, I was just like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Bye. I just checked out. I'm like, no, not for me. Mm hmm. Oh well. <laughs> I'm yeah, gonna call I... it again, though. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna call it, and I'm gonna say, it's it's Fallout 76. I'm Ooh, watching bang. it right now. Some of these textures, it just looks terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, let's move on to the Happy positives. Happy things! Yay! <laughs> let's stop ragging on the game industry and actually give uh -huh. them some praise. So, quickly, <clears throat> and uh, I think you guys all can jump on this one fairly easily. Game of the year. What would be your game of the year? Pokemon Let's Doom Go! Doom 2016. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you should say that. I finished that this year as well. Oh, it's fantastic. It's a brilliant game. It is a good game. I finished it three years ago, Graham, but it's my favourite game every year since. Yeah, no. <laughs> I absolutely love that game. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's like crack. Shoot I remember crack watching someone speedrun that in about 20 minutes. Oh. I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? So bloody hell. Oh, mm. Yeah, uh, I'd say for me... As I'm talking, it's a toss-up between Spider-Man and Pokemon Let's Go. Oh, ah. that's good news because, like I say, I, I I've got a certain little man in the house here who's yeah. a Pokemon. Yeah, no, I really so. really enjoyed Pokemon Let's Go. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed it because I wasn't expecting to enjoy it that much. Yeah, it's got some good vibe, hasn't it? That game. Yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, oh, we've also got Dead Cells came out this year. That's very good. Oh, I've not played <laughs> that. Yeah, I've heard good a things lot of about coverage that. that game. I did a review of that game that definitely wasn't plagiarized. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Didn't that? I know. I managed it somehow. How did you control yourself? <laughs> <laughs> did, didn't that win an award at the Game Awards, though? I was, I was half asleep. Well, my review, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It should have done you. count. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. Um, I'm not going to be very controversial here. My pick's God of War. It's just, it was so... Yeah. Good. No I way. I am shocked by this. <laughs> I did Platinum Spider-Man, though, which I actually enjoyed in some ways more than God of War. Apparently, it's one of... Spider-Man is one of the most platinumed games of all time. It's because it's easy. Platinum. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Platinum's easy. I platinumed it, and I've never platinumed anything in my life. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> I haven't, but that's because I have about 60 billion T games to play. <laughs> it just grabbed me though, Spider Man. Mm. Yeah. Uh, that's that's uh, whether it's the best game of the year. I couldn't say. I think mechanically, uh, I would say it was very oh, good. Me mechanically, it's yeah. gorgeous. It's it's just beautiful. It's such fun to play, and I found myself playing it with a massive <coughs> smile on my face, and that says it all to me. Yeah. Um, I, I just love that game. I I enjoy God of War. We were talking about this earlier. I enjoy God of War. Haven't finished God of War yet mean to go back to it but for me personally my favorite like i say there's a difference between my favorite and possibly what i would you know if yeah, i'm you're... being more objective say the best but my favorite sorry 
uh, count. Go on. Yeah, like there, there is. Yeah, there's always a difference because at the end of the day, game of the year is always a subjective thing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But I think when you when you're trying to make an award, when you're trying to award best game of the year. I always find it better to do it from that rather than try and go, well, this is objectively the best game, but I didn't like it as much oh, as this impossible. game. Because it's, yeah, it's exactly. very difficult to You're do. right. You're right. But I preferred... There's things about God of War I preferred to Spider-Man that I think it technically did better, just personally. Even though I enjoyed elements of Spider-Man more, I thought God of War was yeah. a better game. Right. That's well, that's why it won yeah. Game of the Year, isn't it? I mean, you know... Yeah. Um, yeah. I... I, I uh, personally, I'm just saying my personal preference in terms of the fun I was having with it. Yeah. Spider-Man wins all ends up. Yeah. Um, and that's not to diss God of War in any way, shape, or, for, or, or form because it's a fantastic game. Exactly. Um, another on- honourable mention. I have to mention this because I haven't played it very for very long and it's not been out that long. But I think, okay, slight sour taste from Red Dead Online, but Red Dead Redemption, uh, what I've played of it so far, I mean, again, that's another one. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy it as much as God of War or Spider-Man, but it's got to be up there as one of the better games of the year, certainly. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah. impressive, but I just didn't enjoy it, and I stopped playing it. I think a that's lot what of people are like, Grant. That's what Mark said. It just doesn't respect your time very well. No, it doesn't at all. I just wanted something linear. Uh, yeah. I'm going to f- throw in some honourable mentions. D- Detroit Become Human, I really liked. It's Quantic Dream's best game, I think. Being mm. Quantic Dream's best game is not that much of an I know. Well, <laughs> let's subject, be fair. I will, defend, I will defend their games. Jason! Co- Jason! Jason! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw in. I just finished Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which I really liked, and I think it finally threw off the shackles of being Uncharted Light because they improved a lot from, in that game. Um, that's interesting. That's, you've got quite a different opinion to the general consensus then. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I tend to go with what I enjoy. Well, you're right. You should go with what you enjoy, and I enjoy the Tomb Raider games personally. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. will knock them. If you look at Uncharted now, the PS3 2007 game, what was it influenced by? Tomb Raider. It's like it goes full circle, you know. Yeah. So it's not yeah. really, you know, there's the games that I finished this year, only about four of them came out this year. Most of them were like, you know, were older games from the previous couple of years. I had a real. Yeah, I, that's what I've had a lot of as well. I had a real yeah. hard time finishing games this year, more so than ever, actually, which was a shame because there were some great games out this year. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah. um, just to put the button in, I think I'm going to have to give my. In all seriousness, my uh, pick to God of War as well. Um, mostly because it was fantastic, and I'm not even joking. It's like the only thing I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's yeah. That that, and you've been playing a lot of Overwatch. <laughs> Pretty much, you can't pick. I can't that. pick that. So <laughs> I'm giving it to God of War based on it was great, and if yeah. it's the only thing I can remember, then it probably deserves it. So are we saying? Fair you know, enough. the consensus would be, I would say, probably. If we're going through the aggregate of all of us, it's probably Spider-Man or God yeah. of War. I, I'm I'm yeah. going to do it again. I'm going to call it... My personal favourite is Spider-Man, but I, I'm going to call it... I'm going to say God of War. I think that's probably the one that stands out this year. I'm, mm, you know, I'd I, give I, Spider-Man a go. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe... Yeah, maybe, you maybe you have to give Spider-Man a go. It's I, very good. I'm playing through the, DL, the second DLC pack now. Mm. Yeah, I need good. to get to that. Oh, um, I saw um, Into the Spider-Verse last night. And can I oh, can I tell you can I tell it. you something? Can I tell you something? So I got halfway through the movie. There's no spoilers, but halfway through the movie, I was like, you know what? This is better than the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Not that that's necessarily hard. That's anyway. Hang on, mm, hang, no. on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I got to the end and the credits, and I sh- I'm telling you now, it is the best Spider-Man movie I've ever seen. Oh, those are fighting that's words. That's praise, man. And I, I, I'm oh. not the only one that I saw it with that would tell you that either. Um, oh, it was man. F- oh. story, visuals, the, the style is f- so much fun. The humor was on point. It was phenomenal. I loved it. Yep. I will be booking tickets to see that. Also. Really yeah, good. I definitely <laughs> want to see that. Uh, yeah. My yeah. boy will love that as well, I would say. Mm, it's fantastic. Absolutely. Anywho. Cool. So <laughs> that's got nothing to do with games. <laughs> wow, well, kinda tentative link. Um wow. so I, I don't know, I'm I'm I am i am gonna have to sit on the fence, I think, ultimately. It's it's gonna it's got a war or Spider Man. I can't really it's uh, 
maybe. Make it join. Maybe me. because I finished Spider Man, maybe I should give it to Spider Man. What do you guys say? I don't mind that. Yeah. It's... At the end of the day, we all we are all gonna have different yeah. choices. Like for me, mine's the toss up between Spider Man and Pokemon Let's Go because I nearly completed the Pokedex in Pokemon Let's Go. That's how much I'm yeah. enjoying it. Mm. So, you know. Yeah. They're all good games though, so there's no losers here really. Yes. No. There's no losers. Only the ones that didn't. <laughs> Only lawbreakers. Literally. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Right, so I'm going to move on to Publisher Developer of the Year. And I've got one that stands out here. I've got a couple that stand out, but one really stands out. And we were talking about this the other day. And I'm going to put this one in first before we get on to anything else. And I'm going to say Skybound Games. And. Oh, the ones that bought The Walking yeah, Dead, I think. Yeah, and hired yeah, back a load story, of guys. Yes. That's a really good story, and I think they, it you know, is. okay, it's good advertising for them, but I think that's just... Yeah, it's, everyone's a winner. Yeah, they've still done the right thing. Exactly. That. that was the correct thing exactly. to do. Exactly. Oh, I must have missed that story. I didn't realise they'd done that, actually. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a really, really good story. We were talking about this on uh, one, of the, one, of your, one of your podcasts, weren't we, the other day, guys, and... Uh, it's a it's a really top story. I think it's uh, there's so much negativity, and I think oh, yeah. that's really really good. It's heartwarming. Yeah. yeah. So I think they they did the right thing there. So for me, they did. Any any more for any more on that one though? Has anyone got anything to? Uh, Devolver Digital just because they're consistent. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. They're always up there, aren't they? Devolver. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. a good pick. Sony Santa Monica. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd go that as well. I think. How can you not? <laughs> Insomniac. Insomniac, yeah. Man. Yeah, definitely. Um, Insomniac, yeah, bouncing back um, from uh, that. Yeah, because they had a couple of not brilliant stuff, didn't they? Well, I mean, that was Sunset Overdrive, right? I mean, yeah. that's, the, uh, yeah. you know, like it's seemingly like a Lawbreakers type situation where it wasn't a bad game. A lot of people enjoyed it. It just kind of fell under the rug and then they came out swinging with Spider-Man. So I think they've credit to them yeah. for... Uh, you know, getting it out there and getting What's the formula. I remember right? that's that Insomniac Games made the original few Spyro games. Yeah, yeah they've got an Just interesting track record. And the original record. Ratchet and Clank yep. games. And um, Resistance Fall of Man. Yeah. Oh, Resistance. Yeah, they're, they're quite diverse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're quite diverse, that studio. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was looking at their back catalogue the other day and I was quite amazed at what they produced. Yeah. I really want Ratchet and Clank to be that. They're like the, sort of the last of that set of fun oldish oh, games to not I be remastered yet I'm re I really want the Ratchet has, and Clank it? It two years. they got the remake yeah, yeah. you want the whole yeah, they got the remake but I want the first three games to be remastered like they have oh, I, see. Yeah. I am Crash. I am That'd so cool. keen for Crash Kart Racing though like I am so keen for that oh, I, <laughs> I saw that so yes keen. that's so cool yes ah oh. Uh, another one, THQ Nordic. They've done a they've done a lot of good stuff this year. They just bought Carmageddon, um, apparently. Yeah. The license to it. <laughs> yeah, they they bought Carmageddon, the license. They've they bought so many studios this year. I've mentioned it a number of times this year. Wreckfest. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. Um, I bought that actually when it was that, on sale. That game. They've actually now bought the company that make that originally made Wreckfest. They've now bought that company out entirely. Ah, so they're making moves. And they've also bought Coffee Stain, who made Goat Simulator. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that's got, yeah. It's got a cult cool following that game. It's like. It has. I remember when it was like a, this really sort of massive thing when it when it came out, and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I yeah, THQ Nordic have done a lot of good things this year when it comes to. They've bought so many great IPs and developers. Because, like. Uh, Wreckfest, again I'll bring it up that was dead in the water for about two years then THQ Nordic helped finance the game and now it's been, like it got completely reworked, now it's been released out of early access and it's really fucking good mm. um, I'm going to throw one in there, they, they haven't actually put out a, a game as such this year, I'm trying to remember their name, the people that did go on home um, oh yeah uh, Fulbright uh, Fulbright, I think they're very game. They're very gamer centered, and especially if you if you go on their Twitter accounts, all the developers are very good at interacting with game gamers directly. And what you mean they they talk to us? When I finished the coma this year, Steve, somebody or other, who's one of the head guys at Fullbright, used to work on The Walking Dead. I think it's season one, and then he moved to create Fullbright. 
he actually personally thanked me for playing the game, which I thought was a pretty amazing thing. Oh, oh right. Oh, awesome. awesome. Yeah. Kudos, so nice yeah. There. You know, it's like, yeah. thank you for buying the game, thank you for, you know, your opinion on it, etc. You know, and I think that's... If we're going along those lines, I'm also going to say Mike yes. Bithel. He made Thomas Was Alone, and then he's released uh, two weird, fun, interactive visual novel type things this year. They're really weird, but they're Isn't also there really Isn't one cool. a robot one or something? And it, uh, yeah, well, that's called Subsurface yeah. Circular. And then there was one set on a boat with a plague thing. It's called Quarantine okay. Circular. Um, they're both really fun little games. I played them both this year. But like him on Twitter, he's just like a really great person. And, like he, he interacts yeah. with people. And it's just really nice to see. It's great when you get these guys actually talking to gamers and you know having a proper interaction and, and they're not feeling yeah because they feel like people then you're like you're actually like oh okay this is a person who's talking yeah and to the me. irony is there that if they are like that there's always going to be the morons out there who want to you know knock chunks off people but the reality is that yeah. most of us most gamers i would say are it's like any other group of people most people are fine and if you treat them like yeah. decent human beings they're going to respond in kind. Then, yeah. Exactly. Um, so when you when you talk to people in a reasonable way, it, it comes back at you and everyone everyone wins. There's, there's no, you know, all this stuff that we got this year, the negativity where the, the, the journalists and the, and the publishers and the developers seem to be in a different place to the gaming public. That's not healthy. And when you hear stories about people like this who, who are prepared to actually make a little bit of an effort and they don't have to be out there all the time you know we don't expect to own them but just speak to us but it's nice just to be able to have a conversation exactly exactly yeah, yeah so that's great yeah another name i'll put out for that is tom francis he is an ex pc gamer employee who made gunpoint and heat signature two ah, games that i really I used to i used to work for pc game i mean the 90s thing I applied to be news editor at PC Gamer recently, and I didn't get really <laughs> back. Fine, because they will they will keep you on file with the used yeah, to future. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to when they. When You've got to keep on keeping on, yeah. You know, yeah, that's that's better than retail. Mm. <laughs> if nothing else, it's better than yeah. retail. The wage will be marginally better than retail. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Oh, I'm going so I'm going to give an honourable mention, um, and and that's it's kind of tainted a bit because uh, it, it's NIS and we got the Neo Geo Mini which I don't think that's is that great but they also NIS uh, released uh, the SNK 40th anniversary collection this year and I think they showed us exactly how you go about creating a collector's edition because it was beautiful I've done an unboxing of that and it's lovely and it's not overpriced either and you've got some beautiful artwork in there. The collection's great. It's got like a almost a mu museum in there. There's telling you all about how the games were developed and all the rest of it. What was it's this? Just sorry, Joe. Brilliant. Say again. What was this? Sorry, I, I must have missed it. Um, I don't know what it is. It's the SNK 40th anniversary collection that came out for the Switch, and it's basically old arcade games. Uh, predates Neo Geo, so it's old stuff. The SNK. Um, ah, yeah. I must. Uh, I don't know what the SNK is. I vaguely remember yeah. this. Yeah, and and it's it's a gorgeous collection. I I bought it. You oh, can get yeah. it. I think directly off the NIS Europe or NIS America website. I think it's still available. Yeah, you can get. A, you can buy it on Amazon. Yeah, you can get a standard edition, which still has most of the stuff. Oh yeah, that's you know the the the, the, the standard edition is yeah. great because most of the stuff that's in the collector's edition is in the standard edition as well. Uh, you know the digital stuff. So all the information is actually there when you load it up. You can read through on your Switch or whatever. But the collector's edition just has a few extra oh, bits. I've, I've just found it. Yeah. Oh, that is a gorgeous collector's it's, edition. It's exactly how like you that. should do a collector's edition. Mm. Yeah. And that is quite reasonable. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give them a shout out for that one because uh, that was lovely. Oh, that's <coughs> that is gorgeous. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I am a fan. <laughs> Yes. Anyway. So, uh, any any more for any more on that one? Have we got any others? No. Uh, I don't think so. Let's see. Anything 
stands out. Don't think so. Okay, so I don't know. Oh, uh, Lucas Pope because he released uh, Return of the Obra Dinn. Uh, okay, I, don't, I, I only know the name. I've not played it, so I can't really comment. It's the weird. Mur it's the murder mystery ship thing. Yeah. it's cool. Uh -huh. Go play it. I don't want to spoil no, it. No, I need to play that because I love Papers, Please, and I just think he's a bit of a genius. So. <laughs> It's a really great, visually stunning okay. 10 hour experience. Now you've sold me on it. Ah, <laughs> now you've sold me. <laughs> yeah. I love the art it's style. 10 hours but... long, you've sold me. Yeah, I, the art style is possibly the, one of the best I've seen in ages. It's gorgeous. Cool. Right, so, oh, sorry, go, anyway. on, go on, count. No, next. Well, next, I was just going to say I'm just going to call it on this one because there's so many, there's so many, but I'm going to call it, and it's my prerogative. I'm going to I'm going to say ultimately Skybound Games for me because I think that's just a great story. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fair Everything enough. else. Again, no no losers there because we've had some great people and some great stuff, and just goes to show there are some exactly. fantastic people out there working in the game industry, and without you know wanting to pull up a bucket and make you lot throw up in it uh you know these guys have done great work and we, we kind of owe them at the end of the day because I, I, I say look you know they make the games we buy the games but some of these guys do go the extra mile and they do make the extra effort and we should praise mm. them when they do that absolutely so, yeah yeah so the last one until we get to well i say the last one um we've got hopes and fears we're going to cover in a minute but I just wanted to say, talking about positive stuff, have we got any kind of positive news stories, positive things that came out be above and beyond what we've just been talking about? Yeah, um, I think I actually do. Go on then. Um, you... Xbox's adaptive controller for those with disabilities. Ah, yes, I was going to mention that. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Definitely. That is a fantastic story. And, and mm. that, you know, bringing, bringing gamers in from, from all different walks of life. I... I you guys, some of you guys might know, but I had a friend who had a, a, a kind of wasting disease back in the day, and he died kind of around the age of thirty. Mm. And something like this would have been fantastic for him, you know, if, if we'd have had the, the level of gaming we've we've got now back then, he would have loved it. So I yeah, can it's only kind of sad when you think about it, isn't it? Because a lot of people with disabilities like probably are housebound as well, and yeah, this is, and this is like a great hobby yeah, that they can't enjoy exactly. because of. Restrictions. Yeah, so, and it's it's absolutely something that nobody had to do, but Microsoft did it. You know, whether it be for publicity or whatever. I personally think under Phil Spencer, they are about kind of fostering healthy kind of uh, gamer environments. So that's how I choose to view it. But I think it's regardless, it's fantastic. I don't think it's a cynical move at all. I just think they're very pro gamer. You know. Yeah, I, I, do. I agree. This is just I, an extension I think, of that, yeah. really. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. that. And, and they can't lose. I mean, you know, it's it's only going to, you know, make them look positive, make them look good. So, yeah, if you want to look at it cynically, you could look at it like that. But, you know, either way, the wins. outcome's fantastic. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's a great one. Any others? Anyone else got any, any others? I can I can think of one that I can throw out. And when I when I mention this on my channel, um, <laughs> One of my commentator, commenters said, uh, we shouldn't be praising, I'm paraphrasing, but he said, we shouldn't be praising them for this. They should have done this ages ago, <laughs> <laughs> which he's, he's, he's <laughs> right about. But I, I've, you know, I've got to praise Nintendo for this because I think they've finally seen the light and it's the dropping their creators program. Oh, the creators program. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I yes. think finally, finally. It took them long enough, didn't it? But they've, yeah, they finally worked. Yeah, I, I think that's that. I was so pleased when I heard this the other day, and I was thinking, you know, all those years when they've missed out on free publicity and gone after yeah. gamers. You know, it's the flip side of what they did about going after after ROMs. But you know, this one's like a positive one. They've actually done something positive, opening it up and letting gamers show gameplay from Nintendo is a win-win. I can't see. Yeah, they could not yeah, lose on that at all. It's finally worked out that it is free advertising. Yeah. Yeah. They're honestly, they're honestly so strange. It, it, I almost feel like sometimes they sit over there just hitting Google Translate on the internet. <laughs> like they just, just spits out not quite right, you know, and misleads them. Yeah, they're like, wait a minute, yeah. are they insulting <laughs> us? No, we're not. I, ju I, I, they just do feel horribly anachronistic at times. You know, they just feel like yeah. at least one foot is in the past. 
Yeah. And they really do need to, yeah. to drag themselves into the 21st century. This is a good start. Let's hope we see more of this kind of thing. They, you know, yes. they, they need to sort out their online and, and there's various other things. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, their back catalogue's phenomenal. Mm. And they, 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 they've got all this potential free advertising out there. Yeah, it's, it's strange how they don't see it as that or they haven't done until now. You know, I just I don't understand that element. Nintendo. Could you imagine a Nintendo Game Pass? Like, fuck. Oh, God. Imagine that. The world's biggest catalogue at your and fingertips. And the thing is, people, there are people out there who who want to hate on Sony and want to hate, hate on Microsoft. And there are people who want to hate on, on Nintendo as well. But I think of all those companies, the company that people want to love, it's Nintendo. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, especially in in, in the states where you had the game crash and they're credited as kind of bringing gaming back and whatnot. I mean, it's not really a case over here so much. I'll be five minutes, sorry. No That's drops. okay. They, but um, yeah, they, I just I just feel like they've got such a, a potential there for people to be singing their praises from the rooftops. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And they just pass it by sometimes. And, and like I say, let's be positive though. This is a step in the right direction. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, I, 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 the other thing I would mention that that is something that is positive this year, and and I think this is positive for Sony, for Microsoft, for Nintendo as well. And you've mentioned this a little bit earlier on, Sully. I think watching what's going on with Microsoft and the way they're gearing up for the next gen, I think that could be a good thing for us as gamers. I think it's healthy. I, you know, I, I think it's going to kickstart Sony. I will be absolutely gobsmacked if Sony don't have at least backwards compatible compatibility no, with the to. PS4 in the next it PlayStation. It would almost be a worse fondle than the Xbox One reveal and launch. Like, yeah. just to be so blind that you can't see the trends or refuse to believe or get on board. I mean, we are, we're already seeing it now. Joe, in my opinion, with crossplay, yes. so Microsoft clearly forced their hand because they're setting yeah. a trend that can't be ignored. Mm. And they're doing that with backwards compatibility. They're doing that with services. Um, they're doing it across the board in a lot of areas. Like even yep. niche areas like adaptive controllers with the disabled. Like it's just they're checking all the boxes and then some, in my opinion. You know? And, you know, I'm not no. a f- just going to put out there, I'm not a fanboy i'm not biased i don't even own an xbox i own a playstation <laughs> i just wish it did a little bit more <laughs> yeah i mean i think i don't know if anyone saw review text lately but he seems to think that microsoft will win the next yeah generation. i did yeah but, and i wouldn't be surprised to be honest with with what they're mm. with the preparation they're putting in place with regards to cloud gaming etc um yeah i think it's every chance you know we could have a healthy competition mm. next gen yeah least. yeah but just get the game to it for me, with yeah. Microsoft at the moment, that it, it feels a little bit like what happened when we got the original Xbox. And I know the original Xbox didn't sell that well, but they hit the ground running. They were determined it was going to be powerful. It was going to be innovative. It was the most powerful, wasn't it? Out of the yeah, exactly. It, I mean, and it it it, it dropped. And, and like I say, I mean, I mentioned this to Sully earlier on. It was the console, along with Halo, that made me a console gamer. Mm. Yeah, um, I got what, ninety-nine pound with five games, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, that helps. Damn. You can get it. You can pick it up cheap. Yeah, um, but I just feel that Microsoft are kind of they've got that kind of mindset again. We want to be the best. Mm. We want to. We want to really push this forward because with the original Xbox, they brought in you know first first console that that had a hard drive. Yeah. First console that really did push the idea of online gameplay, that kind of thing. And it looks like Microsoft are doing the same now. Oh, now a lot of concepts. Mm. Yeah. yeah the, I mean, there's flip sides to this. You know, the, the, the games as service thing you can see in a negative light as well. But I just think they are looking to drive the next generation. And I think Sony, if Sony have got any sense, and Sony aren't stupid, I think Sony are going to have to be taking notice of this and they're going to be looking to see what they can do to counter that. Mm-hmm. And that can only be a good thing for the rest of us. Yeah, for us Absolutely. gamers, you know. I, th- I think the interesting thing, though, this time around, in the way that they've kind of set this entire generation setting up almost for the next one to just get all their ducks in a line, yeah. in comparison to the way they started this generation, is it doesn't seemingly look like anything's going to be forced down our throats. Like, you talk about games as services, 
you know, that's great. They got Game Pass. It looks great. It's there if you want to use it. It comes with its own kind of pros and cons. But if you want a disc-based system, I imagine we're definitely likely going to get that. It just it feels like options, you know? Oh, Healthy God, that options. would be the worst possible self well, self harm, if I you mean, like, with you know, if they, if they it. release without any disc, you know, there will yeah, be I mean, one without a disc. But if they release, yeah, I'm gonna say rumor has it, it's happening this generation. Oh yeah, you know, but yeah, it's just year, one yeah. of many options, you know. So yeah, I mean, you Back. you, you want to be. I mean, it, there's there's rumor going around they're producing a, a a controller for phones and things. So I've heard. Mm, that's so it one. looks like well, I can buy a controller for my phone because it's the mo phone you can get mods for. Ah yes, is that the Motorola? Yes, yeah. it's also seventy-five pounds, which is amazing. Yeah, I think yeah. Uh, Jay was. There's a reason I've not really bought any of the mods for it. They're fucking expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got you with that. Oh, you know, the, the the initial phone's cheap, but all the rest of the yeah. stuff's expensive. Yeah. The initial phone was not cheap. Was it not? No, okay. It was seven hundred dollars. Ouch! Oh. Ooh. Flagship controller. models for you. Yeah. <laughs> And then people no, go, oh, I'm not buying that console because it costs 400 quid. Yeah, and then they'll buy <laughs> a phone for a grand or whatever. Yeah. And all you do is send text on it. <laughs> no, I do more than text. I, I, I use a phone more than most people probably would. Mine's pretty much just an internet, internet browser. That's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. I usually spend most of my day ignoring texts or phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so anyway, um, I am going to call this one, I think. I'm going to look at what we've been talking about and the positives and negatives. And I actually think the... I know we've just been talking about Microsoft, but I think the most positive thing for me really was, was that adaptive controller. And I think it was mm. announced last year, actually. I'm not even sure. But, oh, okay. um, but you know, it came... Is it, it's out now, I think, is it? Is it out now? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, so it's actually been released this year, so I think we can, you know, it, it fits with this year. And I think that's a great, great move forward. I think it, it just kind of encapsulates the new ethos, if you like, at Microsoft. I think mm -hmm. it's a great story. I, I don't think anyone's a loser from that one. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my, my best news story of the year, even though I was bloody happy that Nintendo dropped their creators program. Um, and I will be making videos that include Nintendo footage in the future, and let's hope they're true to their word and they don't try and claim the bloody things. Yes. <laughs> so. Well, I, I, let's have a check, actually. If I go on to the game casting, I want to see if Nintendo Half our claimed, shit's claimed my Pokemon I review. Can find oh, I want to see if they claimed the Pokemon review, because I don't actually know. They may not, though, because that's um, isn't that the Pokemon company, and I'm not sure they may have a different yeah, they are thing on that. Thing. I know that they definitely claimed I did a test video of Zelda and they definitely claimed that one, even though it never went oh, right. live. <laughs> <laughs> Half of my stuff Difficult, gets uh, blocked by Toei Animation for that Dragon Ball podcast, which is yes, Japan again. Yes, it does, Ugh. doesn't it? Toei yeah. just straight away. One of my uh, Dragon Ball episodes had, I think it was like 53 claims on it. Holy oh. what? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I don't get this. Jesus. And was banned at slash blocked in Japan. I'm like, brilliant. Okay. The thing is, oh, though, Sony is starting to get quite aggressive because they they hit they put a copyright strike on a Last of Us video from 2016 on my channel like two weeks ago. I'm like, why now? Really? Yeah. Mm. Why now? That was definitely Sony, mm. was it? Sony, yeah. It's, it's Sony I got Entertainment. A um, Sony it's S S I E basically. Sony Interactive oh, for Entertainment. God's sake. And it's That's in ridiculous. dispute. It's been in dispute since because they haven't responded. But it's just like, yeah. why now? It's like, you yeah. know, yeah. makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, well, that happened to me with that bloody video on how to convert file formats, and that was YouTube itself. Yeah. It was a community strike. <laughs> and I went to the thing, oh, you know, look up our guidelines. And I went, there, oh, you know, if you're encouraging people to break the law or whatever. I'm like, what the hell? I'm not, you know, I'm not encouraging people to break the law or do anything like that. It's just like a f file format change. Uh, oh. Yeah. But, you know, what can you do? YouTube I mean, don't do you know, stuff. it's crazy. <laughs> my, yeah. my Let's Go review has not been claimed. Oh, good. Cool. Yeah. I'm actually surprised. Yeah. Oh, that's good news. Hopefully that yes. might bode well. One of Mark's news videos from recent has been, has been claimed, though. <laughs> really? What was that? Uh... Uh, Namco Bandai, so oh, there you probably go. Devil oh, May yeah, Cry. There, yeah. Anything, yeah, anything Namco Bandai, Japan, Capcom, Capcom's another anything. one. The problem is, 
anything out of Japan, which means almost anything that Mark makes. Yeah. Yeah. Konami, I got one. I, I put up an, a Konami one. It was actually not going to go live either. It was just comparing the Xbox version with the PlayStation version of a particular game. And uh, I think it was a Metal Gear Solid game, actually. And I was looking at the graphics, and that got claimed. That never went live, but it was claimed like the minute it went up, it was claimed. Yeah. Oh, oh I had a news video not too long ago. Do you remember that Harry Potter thing that got mm. leaked? Mm. Mm. I had a news video that got... Like they, uh, Warner Brothers went on a literal takedown spree and took down everything that contained the footage. I was one of uh, probably one of the first people to notice it and re-upload it without the footage, and has such got a ton of views on it. <laughs> 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 it's not. Uh, it was like 292 views, which for us is quite good. And I was just like, oh my god, but <laughs> hello. This, this, this thing that this is why I was so annoyed about Nintendo and the way they were, and why I'm so happy that they've given up on this. This 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 desire to constantly control the narrative mm. don't they realize that once it's out there it's bloody out there yeah. they can't yep. control it they need to get with the 21st century it's utterly ridiculous to try it's and control stuff like that their ip yeah that they're, yeah they're, it's just ridiculous they can go off now yeah yeah but anyway let's um let's let's move it on because uh we've run over the hour now so uh let's get into Ooh. what we're looking forward to next year so hopes and fears for next year and what i will do is we had this kind of thing last year in one of my videos so i'll put a link into that and you guys who are watching this can go and have a look and compare and see if we were right last year and see if we are repeating ourselves or if we've <laughs> Got to eat, eat humble pie or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what are we gonna hope for and fear for this year, guys? Who's gonna take this one away? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I bet last year it was something to do with loot boxes. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I, I hope I... for further legislation on loot boxes because the US court, well, what was it? The FTC have picked up on it. Yeah. And they're, they're investigating it, so I hope that goes somewhere. I loved the footage from that of the woman giving a long spiel about um, loot boxes and all the rest of it. And at the end of it, she said, so will you look into this? And the guy on the panel went, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all he said. Yes. Yes. Great. Nice. <laughs> we are going to look into it. Da, da, yeah. da. <laughs> Ooh, coming back to Motorola mods, the one of the big speaker mods is half price on Amazon. Uh -huh. Well, there you Ooh, go. I might get um, that. Buy that one. The thing is, with next year, and this is this always happens. You, we're getting towards the end of a console generation cycle. Although this this one's been a bit weird, obviously because of the um, iterative upgrades with the Pro and the One X. So my hope and fear is that we still get enough decent games released next year. You know that will carry us into the next generation. You know, so yeah. Over mm. isn't you know isn't messy in any way. Um, I well, don't know. I mean, I hope that that's the case. We still got days gone. Well, Grant, yeah, etc. Yeah, I was gonna, just going to quickly say, what are your thoughts on Sony pulling out of E3 and seemingly have probably already showed everything that is on the table for the rest of this generation? Well, either they have showed everything, or they're going to do their own special thing. I think. So, uh, yeah, I don't well, know. I would suggest the latter. Yeah, get, I feel like they're done. I, I, I think it's a mistake, personally. I understand the reason for it, and I don't know. I think you going back to resting on your laurels. You know, it's like, well, we we don't consider it important enough this year. I mean, I can understand if you don't have enough to show. I do get that, but and it's obvious they're probably like others have said they're creating their own event in order to reveal the PS5. But I don't anticipate that until 2020, yeah. though. See, I feel like it will be next year. I think they're skipping next E3 and they'll do something at TGS and that it will be the PS5 reveal. And then we'll have a whole year into November next year when they'll drop it. But if you think what they did with the PS4, they created a special event to reveal that, didn't they? And six months yeah, later it was yeah. out. Um, so yeah. I, think like, I think like November 2020 they'll probably drop it and they'll reveal it towards the end of next year. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I think like... Yeah, I, I mean this... I'm in the same boat as you, Grant. I think we're going to get like Death Stranding, um, Days Gone, and that'll see out. I think that's going to see out next year, and that'll be it. 
Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, because Last of Us isn't ready. I don't think. I think they're behind. No, no. I th- I think that'll be a cross gen title, yeah, like a perfect cross gen title. Um, I had someone recently on um, Facebook ask me like, should I get like an X or a PS4 Pro? And I'm like, well, to really kind of put it in a nutshell for you guys, I was like, if you if you don't have either of these console and consoles and you really want one now, like I'd probably go the X, just because I think you're gonna get more time out of it. Um, but if you you know if you really are dead set on playing some of these um, first person uh, sorry exclusives, don't get a pro, don't get an X, get a base PS4 on the cheap and just play those games and just be done with this generation. Yeah, I would yeah. say that's sensible advice. And also it depends on whether you like multiplayer or single player games. As well. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He ended up getting neither. Yeah. I mean, I got my PS4 I think on sale if I remember rightly. Like not much less, but. Yeah, the full price for unless you're a very serious user now is a bit. Yeah, I mean he much, he was you know. only looking at it in terms of a power upgrade because he already had a base PS4 and I was like, dude, it would be very foolish to get one just to At upgrade stage, it for power now. Yeah, just wait. You can no. wait. Mm. You, yeah, you you you're going to be able to play. I I I will be utterly utterly dumbfounded if the PS5. If you One can't play, play PS4, PS4 games. games on that, yeah. if if that uh, at least, at least, yeah, um, and hopefully they'll have the power maybe to to run PS3 as well because there will, from what I've heard, there's a lot more power under the hood of these next gen consoles, and they've um, apparently patented the... or trademarked some kind of technology for emulation as well in the last month or so I think as well. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, if if I be uh, you know I'm hope this is one of my hopes is that that Microsoft have pushed Sony now to realise that actually backwards compatibility is a big thing, even if people don't you know some people play it a lot some people I play backwards compatible games quite a lot but if even if you don't play them a lot it's still a selling point for you, you know. Well, you know, I, I think I'm probably going to give them just personally a little bit. Uh, of the benefit of the doubt because they're probably being a little bit coy and quiet now as they do lead into the next generation and they will drop a lot of the stuff that we expect at the reveal agree, yeah. or in the lead up to the reveal so yeah. you know, I think they don't need to do anything now like here's the games and then the narrative will change and strengthen into the next generation mm-hmm. yeah so we're hoping we're hoping that Sony's gonna what announce something next year for the ps5 do you think we're going to actually see an announcement and maybe a reveal of the ps5 next year or is that too early i think we'll see an announcement i don't know if we'll see a review i don't think it'll be yeah that's where yeah but it might be yeah i i think we're likely to see a reveal next year but you never can tell um so if we tentatively say that maybe we'll see a reveal next year we're not going to see very much um what about microsoft are we going to see anything from them next year Dear Lord, Hardware my wise? hope, my hope, and my fear is that my fear is we don't get Halo Six. My hope is we do get Halo Six. <laughs> 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 that's all I, that's, that's all I'm focused on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I give Microsoft a hard time. But honestly, hope they come back next generation because yeah. we need them. You know, we need oh, them. they're going to come back swinging. Whether they win the generation is going to be open to debate, yes. and we'll see as time goes on. But there, there's definitely going to be more competition in the marketplace next generation. If there's not, uh, I will be so surprised. In the same yeah. way that I'll be extremely surprised if Sony don't have at least PS4 backwards compatibility. Yeah, I will, will be. Yeah, it's it's going to happen. It has to happen. Yeah. And I, and I will be very, very surprised if Microsoft don't come out swinging with some more first-party stuff. If they don't, again, I, I, you know. Makes you wonder. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I think the X has more legs than the Pro just based on when they're kind of release time frame and when they're acquiring these studios. You yeah. Know, some of them probably have stuff in works now that Microsoft acquired with them. Mm-hmm. And some stuff that is going to work now we'll probably see in two to three years' time. And I, I don't think we'll see the X until probably at the earliest 20, uh, 20, at the absolute earliest, the next Xbox. Maybe even 2020. Oh, yeah, 2021. 2021. 20, maybe I don't think it'll push, be any later but than 2021. Even um, you could probably safely say that 2021 is when you see those new studios start bearing their fruits, which will align yeah. with that kind of launch window. So, um, depends, of course. 
Yeah, they'll be going, the, we're announcing this title for the mm. next generation. Depends how long consoles. they are as well with some of the, the developments mm. because um, uh, Forza Horizon developer, mm. what, what's their name? I forget their name. Playground yeah. Games. Playground Games have started another studio, haven't they? And they and they started that. What was that last year? I think they, they there was already rumours going around about them working on another game, and it's been rumours that that could be a Fable game. I, That's I'm right. Sure yeah. that and so, yeah. and stuff um, these days, like it really is like almost a minimum of three years. Like if you're starting now, yeah. like yeah, yeah. nothing. And, turns you know, at around. the end of the day, you've got yeah. to give <laughs> these. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not for that. So far. Oh, I don't um, know. Yeah, Far Cry. As well. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was an expansion. I li- literally thought that was an expansion. I had no idea until like three days later. It's easy for Ubisoft though, because at the end of the day, it's all the same game with a bloody skin on it. It is. If you look at Far Cry yeah. New Dawn, it's just fucking Far Cry Five with a new skin. <laughs> like, yeah, Far. Look, not just Far what's... Cry. If you look at Far Cry, you look at Ghost Recon, you look at uh, uh, Assassin's Creed. They've all got the same, basically the same mechanics. They're just basically a skin. Oh. Assassin's no. Creed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, think, I think Assassin's Creed really did reinvent their own wheel, like uh, with Origins. Um, I think Odyssey's uh, just improved upon it. Um, but a real quick side side um, uh, point, guys. What what is your favourite Far Cry experience? First one. <laughs> Blood Dragon. Yes, Blood Dragon. Oh, Blood Done. Dragon's Ace. Lock it up. Done. I want to play that. That's actually. the best. Here it is. It's really funny. Oh. And... It's got. Michael Bean. Yeah, in Michael it. Bean, just yeah. for having him in it, because his career, yeah. career yeah. was a bit of a nosedive after Terminator. So yeah, <laughs> just yeah, a well, nosedive it, yeah, yeah. stopped existing. Yeah, yeah, because he was in. Oh, what was he? He was in Annual, Aliens, oh, yeah. Colonial Marines in the same year. In Aliens, wasn't he mm. as well? Yeah, 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 yeah and he was also in Aliens, Colonial Marines. They brought his character yeah. back. Oh, crikey! Enough about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Randy Pitchford's greatest hits. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Here's what I'm hoping. <laughs> My hopes and dreams. Randy Pitchford actually admits that Aliens Colonial Marines wasn't that good. <laughs> good fucking luck. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to hear something about hardware from both of them next year. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'd be very surprised if we didn't hear something. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know what... Should we what, just toss, toss Half-Life in there while we're at it as well? <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to at this point, you know. Well, gonna, that's, they, that's obligatory, isn't it? They're, they're going to have to go back to making games because Epic are now opening a store, aren't they? Yeah. So they're going to have that some competition. That was very present. They are the opening a store. Also, uh, two separate developers that I'm aware of are, have already launched or are launching their games exclusively on that platform. Uh, Super Giant Games is next game is not on Steam, but it is on. Epic Games is thing. Ooh, that was man. very present at the Game Awards, the Epic Store as well. Just yeah. everywhere. Well, All no night money, haven't they? And also, they've apparently um, offering only 12% cut or something. Yeah. Yeah, they've been is, offering it. That's mm. Which is why Steam have cut their, theirs for bigger devs. Which... I'm telling you, man, we've been talking about it for a while. Like, it's time to get nervous if you're Steam. There's a lot of stuff like yeah, I mean, heels. You, yeah, you look Discord, at Steam, it's, doing and it's it just. Now. Steam's full of shit, and it's just, you know, the. They don't have the whole consumer like backing that they used to. They don't have this big reputation anymore. So it, you know the market's ripe for the taking. Really. Well, they left all the bloody. Ah, that's what it is. Uh, I think it's Super Meat Boy F- Forever is coming out on Epic Games Store. Okay. Mm-hmm. So competition. Yes. Mm-hmm. They'll sign up quite a few devs. I can see that. Well, they got oh, certainly yeah. got the money. They're not. And short you get cash. discount on the engine as well. You get discount on their engine. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Hmm. I think uh, it was five percent or something like that. Oh, is that on you? Which yeah. if you yeah. Was that on the um. No. No. Uh, uh, Unreal. Uh, Epic Unreal. Games' engine. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, Unreal. Yeah. Yeah, they own Unreal. Yeah. yeah. Can't remember. It was some kind of rebate in terms of the cut you'd get from sales on the certain ah. platform. So. Okay. Journey has come to PC on Epic Games' store. Oh, right. Ah. Great game that is. I love that game. I've heard good things. Yeah, I've not really played it. But one of the few games that made me cry. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, I think. <laughs> it's kind of. It depends on how you... If you see games yeah, as art, yeah. it's an incredible experience playing it. Yeah. If we're, if we're talking about uh, hopes and fears, though, if we're looking at the Epic Games Store, my fear is that they take their eye off the ball and, and do what Steam did 
and uh, you know we we saw no half-life once we got steam and they just spent all their time looking at that and we could see that you know epic games uh maybe focuses too much on that so i'd be a bit concerned about that but well i mean that's always the case isn't it like everything nothing can stay up forever and everyone's gonna kind of reach a peak and piddle out and someone else is gonna build upon their mistakes you know like that's just the circle of life seemingly <laughs> mm. yeah because, you know, joking aside, I, I actually think Fortnite is a very well thought out game. And I think that um, mm. if you look at the way they, they handle the seasons and stuff, I, it worries me a little bit because I think that people like EA and others are going to be looking at that format and trying to replicate it. And I think it get very bloody expensive if you're having to play season passes every three months, well, they you know, for all it. your favorite games. Yeah. Having said that, though, they, you know, their their prices, while a little bit expensive, uh, are up front. There's no loot boxes, and you know they don't actually affect gameplay. Uh, so, I think yeah, they've done it a I, lot better than a lot. As of a others. way of doing this kind of game, they've probably done it better than most. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we'd rather not see microtransactions at all. But if you're going to well, have them, yeah. But you know, at the same time, they're not charging for the game up front. Exactly. So it's a lot more palatable, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. I think overall, you know, you, you compare it to basically anything else with microtransactions in it, and it's so much better than yeah. that, any yeah. of those. But, you know, there is also, it, it's kind of become cool to hate on Fortnite this year. Yeah, which I, I honestly, I don't, I don't understand. It's very it. much a whole, like, oh, this is the popular thing. Uh, we don't yeah. like the popular yes, thing. Yes, exactly. I'm a hardcore gamer, therefore I don't play Fortnite. Which exactly. Is, you know, kind of an enemy mentality, you used to call it. In yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, perfectly. Perfectly nailed on the head that. Uh, exactly right. Um, I mean, Can I, I personally. Say very quickly about Epic Games' store again, by the way. Yep. Uh, Epic Games Store and our partners team up to give you a free game every two weeks. Oh, cool. From the 12th of, no, from the 14th of December, sorry, American dates, to the 27th of December, you can get Subnautica for free. Oh, yeah, cool. Uh And from the 28th of December until the 1st of, uh, to the 10th of January, you can get Super Meat Boy for free. Mm. There you go, doing it better than Nintendo. Brilliant, I'm going to grab some. You really are trying to suck people in there. That's a great way to suck people in. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I saw that and I was like, Okay, I'm actually on board yeah. now. I am currently installing the client, but yeah. that's mostly because I want to play that. That's mostly because I want to play the new Super Giant game because I really like them as a dev. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be getting on it for Super Meat Boy. I loved the original one. I've even got the physical collector's edition of that. Cool. Mm, there is mm. that, but yeah, like ah, oh, mm. this game in there. It's in their style of hack and slash, like they've done with Pyre and Transistor, and it looks real nice. Oh, it's so swish, and it's all hand-drawn art, and it's gorgeous. <laughs> I need it in my life. Right now. <laughs> and we've lost him. <laughs> He's gone off on one, hasn't he? Uh, yeah. Right, uh, look, I'm going to bring it back round. Um, uh, hopes and fears for the year let's have your final thoughts on that what what if you could have one thing next year what would it be uh psychonauts 2 not being delayed again okay cool it's confirmed 2019 apparently uh well let's hope so then for your sake mm. how about you Grant? uh capcom see sense and take the loot boxes out of resident evil 2 remake <laughs> Ooh, yes <laughs> yes please nice try yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> not gonna happen but you know your hope is they're going to do what you say. That your fear is that they're not going to listen at all. And yeah. And Days Gone is not some half-ass zombie game. Apart from that. Oh yeah. That, oh, I mean, that no. could be a great game. It could be yeah, horrible. I don't know um, about that one. I'm on the fence. I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 Sully. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't have a big horse in this race at the moment. I'd, <laughs> would it be too much? Would it be too much to ask for just a little less controversy and just a little bit more smooth sailing happiness across I the board? I don't have a big horse in this race. I don't play games anymore. It's all so <laughs> above me. I don't know. It's just this, it's the same shit on repeat, isn't it, really? Like loot boxes, you know, wow. big patches, broken games, weird so- sexist controversies happening within studios and publishers. and You're too young to be that cynical, so... Just- <laughs> I don't know, just, yeah, I'm the same. Oh, I, I recognise it. No, I just uh, my wish is that just a little less. Let's just like yeah. have some games. Yeah, no. You know. Yeah. Let's let's. Yeah. yeah I'll go with that. Cut the bullshit. Um, we're in a situation at the yeah. moment where even if you try and say let's have less of that, that's considered controversial. 
<laughs> Let's have less controversy. Ooh, that's controversial. Um. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, hopefully we can just sweep some of the loot box stuff kind of under the rug with a little bit more legislation sooner than later and yeah, just yeah. get back to playing games, you know? Yeah, that'd them, be you know, great. Just... Let's, have, let's have more stories about companies like Skybound Games and more stuff from Nintendo about dropping crap. Yeah. And uh, let's hear that EA have gone bust. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Andrew Wilson and is a hobo living in the street. <laughs> <laughs> he got taken in a scam by some. <laughs> yeah, is it a pyramid scheme all along? Yeah. <laughs> and he's now destitute. <laughs> oh, there you go, Andrew. Maybe, I'm maybe back that's weird. There you go, mate. Maybe that's what uh, maybe that's what Anthem is. It's a secret pyramid scheme by the Violet <laughs> Devs. <laughs> Don't put it past them, please. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and on that note, hoping that EA go bust and everything in the garden is rosy, I think it's uh, time for us to stop. So uh, I'm going to put links to these guys in the description so you can go and find them and i'm on some of their podcasts in their 12 days of christmas is it sully i don't know i think that's what we're calling it i've just <laughs> lost track now They've got in, their, in their themed thing 12, something around seven christmas. days of uh seven days of christmas from gamecast which is just yeah. seven pocket edition episodes landing in around and after christmas so that'll see us out for the year so check those out and i'm yeah. on some of those as well so uh don't let that put you off and uh, I think we're done. So, uh, <laughs> Grant, I would uh, advertise your channel, but you've uh, given up on that now. So sorry to hear that. But uh, sorry, right. I've still got like, two more videos. Fuck it, is yeah. So um, oh. I'll put a link into Grant's channel as well because he's still got a couple of videos that you guys should go and check out and check out his back catalogue as well. And uh, you know where I am because you're listening to my channel. So uh, I will speak to you guys in the next one. And if you're listening to this around Christmas time, happy Christmas. And hope you have a great new year as well. Bye. 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 Bye.